Okay, so hi there Sagittarius, Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your June 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Christine Fern, and the stars by Chrissy.com. So, um, <laughs> if you are not so new to tarot, you're probably all scared now because we do have a lot of difficult cards. I'm going to try my best to, um, you know, um, to get as much information as I can and not to make it all negative and all of that because I do know that um, no one likes a negative reading but you know it doesn't always have to be negative um, it really depends on perspective and you know I will try my best to give you the information that you really need to know and please do know that this is not going to be for everyone um, uh, so it's going to be a case by case basis because we do have a lot of Sagittarius people all around us. But um, for some people, maybe this is a reading that you definitely need to hear and you definitely need to know. So uh, regardless which side of a coin you are right now in terms of your love life and relationships, uh, I personally hope that this will give you insight and clarity to your own situation one way or another. Um, okay, so the center card that we have right now is a double card. So it, this has a lot of intensity. And uh, being the Sagittarius, you know, uh, astrologically wise, you know, Sagittarius and Gemini axis is really on the spotlight and this is going to go on through the entire year you know there's going to be an eclipse that's going to be hitting that area um quite consecutively so um it is really not a surprise that you have here the devil card because it really makes me feel that this is really more of a situation we're in maybe um this is a point where in you know you have a lot of feelings inside of you it could be heavy feelings or it could be you know um maybe there are things that are hidden in your in your in your life that you you want to express you want to tell people you want to show people but you really are having a hard time in 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 doing that you know many times uh, the devil card can definitely talk about you know um uh things that you know has a lot to do with ethics and morality uh usually it has a form of negative influences but in many cases this can also talk about you know just that intense emotion and intense connection you have with this particular person in your life or maybe some form of toxic situation or inevitable circumstances and many many times um, this is really more of an energy wherein things are just in inevitable you know and uh, it's a literally a bondage scenario one way or another as well it's being crossed over by the three of swords so immediately we are seeing here that there could be some form of difficulty when it comes to relationships or you know um maybe thoughts about a relationship or your connection with a particular person and we already know that this is definitely a relationship the fact that we have here the lover's card at the bottom of the reading which makes us feel that you know a uh, relationship is a center focus of the issue right now and it could also be you know uh, it could be that there are issues when it comes to commitment loyalty all of those kinds of things or you know some form of unfairness one way or another can be present as well uh whenever we have the three of swords it has a lot to do with pain and betrayal so i'm not sure if you guys are experiencing some form of scenario like that i hope not but this can also be a situation wherein, you know, some of you might be thinking of leaving a partner or, you know, having some form of doubts in terms of their partnership. Um, is, is this the right partnership for me? Is this the right person for me? Is this person really loyal to me? There's a lot of things that are going on right there when it comes to relationships and, you know, you're having a lot of various thoughts as well. Um, it could be um, at the 
forefront of things. You do have the four of pentacles in your past. So there is something that you're really, really holding on to. And maybe this is a very important relationship to you. Or maybe there are things in that relationship that ben benefits you as well. Um, since the pentacle card is really more of finances and money and there's really no shame in that I mean money is a big part of our everyday life especially if you're in a marriage so or um, I don't know <laughs> um, so uh, I kind of feel that you know this is really more of a situation where in regardless of what it is your current circumstances are right now uh, there is something that you're hiding within yourself you know maybe you're not exactly being true to yourself you're holding on to various emotions you're feeling quite a lot of things or this can also be a situation wherein you know despite what is going on in the relationship despite the unfairness despite the pain and all of that you're just not very much willing to let go of the relationship of course, that is not going to be the same for everyone. I just kind of feel that um, some people around this is having this form of conflict within themselves. And this can also be a situation where maybe you are hiding what it is that you truly feel, even though that, you know, it's like um, some form of intensity is about to come out. And maybe it is going to come out, you know, because you just cannot... You know, especially if you are the type of person who keeps holding on to things, you know, keep holding on, keep hiding, keep, keep understanding, keep um, accepting things as they are. There's going to be one point of your life wherein you're just going to blow up. And <laughs> that might just be what's going to be happening this month of June for a lot of Sagittarius people or at the very least, you know, whether it's your sun, moon or rising sign, or maybe you're dealing with a specific Sagittarius person and this this scenario might be coming to the forefront of things as well. At the top of the reading, we have here the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles has a lot to do with hard work, trying to work out uh, some form of scenario. So this could be you trying to work out the relationship, maybe, you know, making some form of effort, maybe a, some form of, you know, um, on other cases, I would say that this could be a si situation where and maybe you are hurt or you need some form of self-love and you're trying to make your way to heal yourself. Or this could also be a situation where it may be, you know, there's a lot of damage in the relationship and you're trying to pick up the pieces of your heart and soul, you know, trying to fix the relationship and trying to fix the scenario. However, we do have here the hangman and the near future um, card wherein it makes me feel that, you know, um, there's going to be something that's going to be happening in the month of June that will allow you to see things on a different perspective. Um, and I kind of feel that this is going to be especially true if you are the only one who's trying to navigate and work with a relationship. So, you know, um, it's like, we are in a relationship, right? But we do not exactly act as if we are in a relationship because only one person is doing all of the hard work. Only one person is trying to make an effort to fix a relationship. So is that even a relationship to begin with? So, so there's going to be a lot of reflecting and you might be seeing things on a different perspective. Um, um, so yeah, so there's going to be some form of insight that's going to to come out and you know whenever I look at the hangman I always I I, I was you know uh, Getting so much focus on the head over here and how there is some form of illumination right there So, you know, maybe you are going to see something that you did not see before you did not know before all these kinds of things and um, we have here the Ten of Wands, so it makes me feel that, you know, this is really more of a heavy kind of situation. There's a lot of responsibilities, maybe, or a lot of burden is being felt in this relationship. So, we can clearly say that you are not exactly happy with the current situation, current relationship you have during this time. And 
it is really like causing you a lot of misery and all of that and add to the fact that we have the justice card here so this is you know uh maybe you are going to seek some form of justice or you know it could be very literal just like that and the justice card has a lot to do with contracts doing the right thing and all those kinds of things so I kind of feel that, you know, if you were in a situation wherein you are unable to decide upon what to do with this relationship, this justice card is going to tell us, you know, um, will give you some form of answer. What to do with that relationship, you know? Does this re re relationship still have some form of hope or is it a hopeless situation? Um, you know, there's going to be some form of answers that's going to be revealed to us one way or another. And it always talks about some form of truth, whether we like it or not, whether it's going to make us happy or not, all those kinds of things. We also have here the Queen of Swords. And um, for many of you, this is about you uh, demanding answers and demanding things. Um, into your life you know uh you, you this is also about you um expressing your own power expressing your own truth what it is that i deserve what it is that i truly want in this situ situation in this scenario and the queen of swords is really more of a situation that is um they're not weak you know uh, they know when to act and they know when to demand and it's not them who actually tries to adjust to someone um you know if it's not working they are going to cut it off or do something drastic so there, there is a form of influence like that and it could also be a situation wherein your mind right now can be like super sharp <laughs> super sharp you know there is just you know it, it's like for the first time in your life, you're seeing things in cl crystal, clear vision um, one way or another. And our last card is a death card. And unfortunately, this is really more of a reading wherein, you know, a relationship is being put to a test. And this could be a scenario wherein you might really end things with this person. Or, you know, we can clearly see that this is going to be a relationship that uh, that's going to be bringing a lot of change, a lot of transformation can come, um, all of those kinds of things. And the death card is literally can be an ending of a relationship or um, there could be, you know, some form of important conversation, important talk that can lead to um a chance to like giving a person an ultimatum or something like that or uh, a situation wherein you know um a renewal of a relationship that can happen uh it really depends on the, your situation right now i just know that there's going to be quite a few things that you are going to find out you know and depending on your actual situation during this time but the interesting thing here is that i did pick uh five lenormand cards just like what i always do whenever i end the reading and um this time around i did um two spreads you know because i wanted to make sure what is the actual message of this reading so i have another spread like here and you know the interesting thing about here is that uh two snakes actually showed up so over that we are we are clear clearly seeing that you know regardless if this is about you about your life about your relationship seeing two snakes in the reading in in asking a same question is very similar with my recast method um whenever i do readings and it really tells us that there is a problem that we need to work on that we need to face or a problem can actually show up 
uh, and we might need to confront that, fix that, you know, do whatever it takes to to navigate that one way or another. So over here we have the snake and the heart card. So there could be a sense of you know a, a betrayal of some kind, or this there could be some form of deceit, or uh, some form of fickleness or changes in the relationship can really occur and you know uh, finding out something you know since we have here the key whenever the key shows up in the reading especially at the end of the reading we already know that there's going to be some form of answers uh we have the key in our hands you know to open locked doors to open and find out things that that maybe we had no idea of you know and especially i have here the book which is you know supposedly the secret you know something that was hidden something that we did not know and then we have here the fox which is you know very sneaky and all of that kind of stuff so um oh, clearly we're seeing here that there is a relationship that is uh, on the sneaky end of the stick uh there's a lot of unclear things going on there's a lot of confusion in the air um there's a lot of you know um secrets that is a about to be discovered and you might just find out quite a few things and it doesn't always have to be uh, some form of betrayal or cheating or maybe you are just going to be finding out something um, that might be troublesome or an answer of some kind to something that you did not know before you know something that you have no access to can be access right now um so yeah and the reason for me um saying that is the fact that we have here the sickle and the mountain because it makes me feel that a sickle cut through things and a mountain is all about our block our obstacles you know the things that is um that is blocking our way to success blocking our way to moving forward with life um it's going to be shattered you know this problem is going to be cut down to pieces to open pathways for us to you know um to move forward with life basically you have your the moon we're in you know whenever the moon pops up it's like something is being illuminated something is being seen and it's definitely going to be something that is going to be happening this month as well and we have here the snake and the um, house card, which can literally tell us that maybe a problem comes to you right now, or you know, um, a problem comes to home, or a conclusion comes to home. Because you know, whenever there is a snake card, um, I know this is a, like a bad reputation when it comes to Lenormand readings, but all at the same time, if you think about it, a snake is very flexible right now it can you know go through a lot of things um it can um renew its skin you know all those kinds of things they are very slippery basically all those kinds of stuff um so i would say that this is a situation we're in either we are dealing with someone who is really dealing with some form of betrayal deceit or cheating or this could be a situation wherein, you know, there is going to be someone who's going to stand up and uh, take action, you know, um, and removing a problem and facing some form of blockages, you know, and, and facing this scenario, whatever it is that you're going through right now, you know, for you to achieve your own happiness, because uh, there is really something going on here. And... Uh, it's not about um it's not about for the good of all and i kind of feel that uh, the decisions that you are going to be making is something that is going to make you personally happy is something that is going to be for you um you know maybe to remove the burdens that or the change chains 
basically that is tying you down in the process. You know, you want to let go of all, all those kinds of things and baggages and negativity that are surrounding your energy during this time. So, whether that is a relationship in terms of love or you know different um, different types of relationship, because we're not really you know entirely super focused in love, but um, there is you know. As much as hard for me to say,、um, there is a huge chance that it can actually be a relationship.、Um, so yeah, you are going to be finding out quite a few things for a lot of Sagittarius people. I do hope that you know it's not going to be the case for you guys, but、um, yeah. Do let me know how this actually works out for you, and if you do need a reading or you want more clarifications or advice or you want to know what's going to be happening to you next personally,、um, based on your own situation, we can take a look at that. We can do a reading for you. You can book that on my website in the stars by Chrissy dot com, and I'll see you guys again um next month. And yeah, goodbye.